Hi, this is Mike Rankin with Creative Pro, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a flat plan for an InDesign long document. A flat plan looks like this. It shows all the pages of a book, magazine, or other long document in their current state of production. With a flat plan, you can check the progress of a project at a glance. It can help you spot potential problems, and it's a PDF, so you can easily share it with anyone who needs to see it. So how do we make one of these? We start over in InDesign, and here I have my document, which is a chapter in a book, and it's 18 pages long in facing pages spreads. And what I want to end up with is a PDF where reduced views of all the spreads are on a single page. Unfortunately, you can't export a PDF from InDesign like that, but you can use the print feature to make a postscript file like that, which can then be turned into a PDF. So it's a two-step process, but it's pretty quick and easy. The first step is to create a postscript file. To do that, choose File Print or press Command or Control P. And here in the Print dialog box, in the General Settings, up near the top, we're going to choose Printer, Postscript File. And then we have the PPD, or Postscript Printer Description option. This will determine the other settings you can apply, including the paper size. If you want letter size pages, just pick your desktop printer. Also here in general options, you can pick which pages to include. I'm going to leave it at all and choose spreads. In the setup options, choose a landscape orientation and turn on thumbnails. And now I can pick how many thumbnails I want per page. Since each thumbnail is a spread of two pages, three by three will fit all the pages in this example though you can go as high as 7x7, seven seven, which would fit 98 pages in a single view, although they'd be pretty small on a letter size page. So I'll go back to 3x3, three three. and in Output Settings, you can choose Color or Grayscale. I'm going to leave it unchanged. And then just save the Postscript file to your desktop or wherever you like. Give it a name. Then go to your Applications and find the Adobe Acrobat folder. And inside this, you'll find Acrobat Distiller. This program can convert Postscript files to PDFs. Go ahead and launch Distiller. And then find that Postscript file and drag and drop it into the Distiller window. You'll get a security alert. Just click OK. And when the job is done, you'll see a new PDF in the save location that you chose. I'll open it up. And when you first view this in Adobe Acrobat, you'll notice that it's sideways because of the landscape orientation you chose. That's easily fixed. We can open the Pages panel, click on the page, and then click Rotate Clockwise, and save the file. Now you have your nice flat plan with the page numbers displayed at the top left of each spread. And since it's a PDF, you can zoom in for a closer look, and the text is all nice and crisp. And here's one more tip. If your long document is broken up into multiple InDesign files, you don't have to do them all one by one. You can output them all to one flat plan by using the book panel here in InDesign. So here I've set up a book with five documents in it, and to make a flat plan including all of them, I just have to click the Print Book button here on the panel and the rest of the process is the same. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.